Welcome back. We have uh, our Babs Santos live at the scene outside of the Brooklyn Center Police Department for us tonight. And Babs, we checked in with you a little bit earlier in the show. You had said that things seemed, you know, pretty calm out there. You'd been out there last night as well. How are things looking now? I think the crowd may have grown a little bit since we talked to you last. Yeah, still a little over 300 people here, but it's been a quiet and peaceful day all, all day long. No flashbangs, no tear gas. I'll step to the side and let you take a look at the crowd. In fact, earlier it almost felt like a party or a, a summer barbecue. People were just enjoying the, the music, lots of singing. Looks like some people are leaving now. We have um, just under 20 minutes until curfew. Curfew beginning in, in Brooklyn Center and Champlin at 11 going until tomorrow at 6 in the morning. Not sure what they're doing over here, but we're walking over to take a look. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's been peaceful. It's been quiet. People have been uh, having a, a good time, really, and, and, and just coming together uh, around the death of Dante Wright. Uh, I don't know if you can see up there. It just looks like they're, they're having a conversation here, and I'm going to try to, to see exactly what this is. Maxine Waters. Maxine Waters. I'm told that is Maxine Waters. Oh. And Babs, it looks like, yeah, so it looks like the crowd is kind of going around having a conversation. Um, we've seen a couple high profile folks. Are, are they uh, kind of engaged in a conversation, can you tell? Or what, is there a law enforcement officer out there as well? No, I don't see any law enforcement here. Uh, yes, earlier Reverend uh, Jesse Jackson was here, and this is uh, apparently Maxine Waters. So people have just been really appreciative of these kind of high level people coming out here, uh, talking with them, taking pictures with them, and just uh, uh, sharing this moment with them. Oh, there she is. Yes, Maxine Waters, a United States representative, not from Minnesota. Was she from uh, California? Uh, uh, jo Virginia? <laughs> Georgia. We, uh, we got we 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 to get that here. right. Yes, but uh, she is a very high profile legislator, uh, very, very outspoken. Uh, kind of surprised to see her here in uh, Minnesota. They're outside the Brooklyn Center Police Department. Uh, Jesse Jackson, of course, there earlier. Uh, yes, yeah, she is from California. That's from California. Yeah, she yes, is from California. Um, so. She is now here outside uh, speaking to, it uh, looks like, protesters there as well as media. And you do wonder, Karen, how many other, you know, folks, leaders, congressional leaders that are in town that will be heading into town possibly next week as uh, we expect the verdict um, in the Derek Chauvin yeah. trial coming up I, soon. I, and Babs, yeah, go ahead, Babs. I'm going to I'm gonna stick my mic in here and see if you guys can uh, pick up some of what she's saying. How to get power and how to be in control. The way to get in control is not to allow them to win. You've got to register and you've got to vote and you've got to take the power. Yeah, yeah. How do you end these fatal traffic stops?